Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael here, and today I just went ahead and turned on my old Xbox 360 because I want to take a look at this brand new ad update stage three improvements that have just now come out, which makes exploiting a stock Xbox 360 a whole lot easier. And you can do things like running homebrew applications as well as backups. So let's go ahead and switch over to the PC and get started. So the very first thing that you are going to want to make sure of is, is that your Xbox 360 dashboard is at least on this version 2.0.17559.0. And if you don't have it, then you can come in here and you can download it. Once downloaded, you can follow these instructions just right here to get your system updated. Now, if you want to check which version you've got, just come right over here to settings and then go to system and then console settings. And we're going to scroll all the way down here and we're going to take system information. And right there, you can see that I am on 2.0.17559. Dot zero, which means my Xbox 360 is compatible with this. So we'll come back over here to the main repo, and we can see that just as of yesterday, that pull request was merged in. And if we come over here to the releases, we can see that Xbox 360 bad update version 1.2 is out and what has been changed has been improved the stage three speed and success rate dramatically. Now, if we scroll down into this, you will want to download the tools.zip and obviously the Xbox 360 bad update.zip. So go ahead and get those downloaded and save those somewhere safe because we will be needing it in just a minute. Next up, you are going to need to download the Rock Band Blitz demo. This one has currently been delisted from the Xbox Live services, but thankfully you can come here and download it directly from this site or there is a Google Drive mirror. So just go ahead and get this downloaded and we'll use it in just a moment. Next up, we're going to go ahead and use something called XE Unshackle, which is for Xenon Unshackle. And what this is is a custom Xbox 360 app designed to be used with the Xbox 360 bad update. And it applies a set of hypervisor kernel patches and loads the dash launch system module. Now, those that may have been around back in the past we were using something called Free My Xenon, but it looks like at this point, most folks are starting to move away from that and they are using XE Unshackle. So if we scroll down into the project page, it gives us a little bit more information about what the application is. And of course, that they do not assume any responsibility for it, as well as all of the things that this allows us to do. Now, what will be interesting for us is that we're going to use this to launch Aurora, and I will guide you through that right here in just one moment. So to begin with, go over to the releases here, and we're going to scroll down, and we're going to download XE Unshackle Beta version 1.02. Obviously, if there's a newer version out when you are watching this, so go ahead and grab that. The next thing that we will need is to actually download Aurora. So this is where we're going to load our game backups. And if you just scroll down into this, you can see a download section here. So just go ahead and download this link right here for Aurora 0.7 B2. So in order to format your USB drive, I would come right in here to system, go to storage, Go to where it says USB storage device and press the Y button. And we're going to go to format here, select yes, and let it format it directly in the Xbox 360. Okay, looks like that is done. So let's go ahead and take that out. Okay, so I already have a USB drive connected. Next, I've went in here and I have extracted all of the zip files and RAR files that I ask you to download. 
And so where we're going to begin with here is we need to go into the Xbox 360 add update and then retail USB 1.2 in this sample. And we're going to go over here to Rock Band Blitz. And then we're going to copy everything in this folder over to the root of our USB drive. Okay, it looks like it copied over successfully and we have the correct files where they need to be for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go back to our working folder here and let's go into our Rock Band Blitz trial. And inside of this, you will see a content folder here. All you need to do is to take that content folder and we're just gonna go ahead and copy that over to our USB drive as you can see going on just right here. Okay, and now that finished up. And now we need to go down to where it says XE Unshackle Ada, and we're gonna go into this folder here. And what you will notice is, is that inside the bad update payload, there is a default.xex. Now, right now, there isn't one inside of that folder, so we don't have to worry about overriding anything. All we need to do is to just simply copy all of these files right here on the root of our USB drive. Now, once that finishes up, we can go ahead and get rid of the readme file, and we will need to leave the rest of these as they are. Now, if you go into bad update, you will now see we have our default.xex. Now, there is one thing we will need to do with this default.xex, and that is to make it retail signed. So again, inside of our working folder here, there is a tools folder and then XE patcher, and you're gonna see an XE patcher executable that we will need to run from the command prompt. And so what I like to do is to just go ahead and take the file here and do a copy and then just paste it into this folder and then open up a command prompt. Again, you can just come right up here and type in CMD and that gives us this. And so you just run the executable with these parameters and then again, the name of the Xbox executable in mine is just named default.xex. So go ahead and press return on that. And you will see down at the bottom that it says that it successfully wrote the altered XEX to our default.xex and it is retail encrypted. So now what I like to do is to take the default.xex and just drag and drop that over on top of the one that's on the USB drive selecting replace the file in the destination. Okay, so taking a look back at our files again, we're gonna go in our working folder and we are going to go right up here to Aurora. And you can see that we have a XEX file that is called Aurora. I typically like to keep these consistent and we'll just name ours default.xex. Now at this point, what I would do over on the USB drive is I would come in here and organize this a little bit. So we'll create a new folder that's just called apps. And inside of apps, we are gonna come back to our Aurora. And this time, let's just go ahead and rename that just to make it very, very clear that this is Aurora. And then we're gonna copy that whole folder over into our apps folder on our USB drive. Okay, once that has finished copying over, we're gonna come back to the root of our USB drive and we're gonna open up launch.ini. Okay, so inside of the launch.ini file here, where it says default is what loads when you hold no buttons, leave this blank if you want to load NXE as the default. And what we're just going to put right here is we're gonna put the path to Aurora. So mine is in USB, it's in the apps Aurora default.xex, which is exactly how I had you set it up a bit earlier. So apps Aurora, and then we have default.xex. You can leave the rest of this information as it is. We're gonna go file and we're gonna go save here. Okay, so over on our Xbox 360 here, we'll go over to games and then my game, and we will select Rock Band Blitz. And we'll go ahead and press A here. And right there it goes, it says it is running the exploit.
And there we go. That was real time. Wow. That is awesome. So there is the original Mac that has been dumped. And right there we are. We are now on XE Unshackle. Okay, so it says right here that all patches have been applied. Regular JTAG and RGH functionality should be possible and that this is not persistent. Now it states down here that dash launch has been loaded and that any plugins set in the launch.ini will load when you exit this app. So first off, we are going to press X here to save the information to a file. And then finally, we are going to press the Y button here. And what that does is dump the 1BL to the file. And I have a Trinity console type. Now we're going to go ahead and press the back button to exit. And after a few seconds, boom, you have Aurora. Now, obviously, I don't have any games and I haven't scanned for any apps or anything like that. But it is the starting place for you to start rocking and rolling with game backup. So right there, you can see we've got a temperature at the bottom. And if we want to get back out of this, we can just go back to system settings and then go yes on that. And that goes ahead and gets you back to the original dashboard. And of course, you can always go back and start the game again if you want to get jailbroken and back to Aurora again. Well, anyways, I want to thank you so very much for watching. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.